Hello everybody and welcome back. The last time we talked about the intestinal digestion and we knew the intestinal secretions and by now all the food is digested. So we go to the next step which is called the absorption. And uh, we must know that the part uh, of the intestinal digestion happens in the duodenum. The first part of the intestines, as we mentioned, that the intestines are uh, divided into two parts, the duodenum and the ileum. In the duodenum, the intestinal digestion takes place, while in the ileum, the absorption takes place. Uh, first, the uh, definition of the process of absorption is the movement of the digested food into the blood and lymph through the blood vessels two various parts of the uh, body to get use of the digested food so how does the food um, how is the food absorbed sorry how is the food absorbed through the ileum uh, the surface area of the ileum from the inside uh, look like something something like this it's full of folds like this and uh, a one fold one fold of this is called a vile or a villus the fr the fruler is vile So these villas are the site of absorption where the food moves from the outside or from the uh, ileum to the blood vessels. Actually this, uh, this, uh, the outer surface area of the villas contains an epithelial layer and uh, this epithelial layer helps much in the food absorption. Uh, the next more important part is when the food moves from the outside medium to the inside of the villus, here there is something which is called uh, a lacteal and it looks like this this lacteal is formed of something called lymph this lymph is used to carry the fatty acids and glycerol as we will mention in the next part so uh, the blood vessels, here there are blood vessels also, which surround the lacteal, like this. We have arteries and veins also, this way. Which are uh, surrounded completely and they are intermingling here because they are joined together for the blood exchange so for example these may be uh, arteries and this may be a vein so this is the structure of the uh, valley of course there is a lot of folds and this leads to an enormous increase in the surface area of the, uh, of the inside of the ileum so that uh, it reaches 10 meter square and uh, this area is five times more than the skin area So, if the skin of the human was uh, stretched and uh, they measured the length of it, it's 
the uh, surface area of the ilium is more than the surface area of the skin by five times. So you can imagine how uh, much folds are found inside the ilium. And this is for increasing the surface area of absorption to make the most usage of the absorbed food. Your little body used the most useful food uh, from which the food was eaten. And this is a valley, this is a site of exchange where the food enters. Some food moves through the lacteal and has a certain path, and some other food moves through the blood vessels to another path that we'll mention the next time. And the last thing to mention is that the move of the movement of the food from the outside medium into the valley is done by two ways they are the active transport and the diffusion the membranal diffusion that we mentioned at first and uh, that was our lesson today the next time we will talk about the uh, route of the absorbed food the route which moves through the lacteals the lymphatic route and the blood route that moves through the blood vessels and until then, thank you for watching and see you next time.